Hey Rail Creators, do you want to see how these super realistic trees are made? That's coming up right now on Creative Rails. Hey, welcome back guys and welcome to Creative Rails where we think outside of the boxcar. Now these trees that I just showed you there, they're actually from Scenic Express Scenic Trees. I know what you're thinking, Benny, you just showed us a video to get materials from uh, the wild and use natural stuff. That is true. The trick is I use both. I use natural materials and store-bought materials. And I find the natural materials help the uh, store-bought materials to go a little further. So what I recommend doing is going on to Scenic Express or go to your local hobby shop and get the Sage Brush Value Pack. Not the Super Tree Value Pack, the Sage Brush Value Pack. It's only about $29. Now here is the crazy thing. This is what you get. You get a big box like this. I believe it's called Sea Foam. And you also get a big bag of Sage Brush. Now, on the website, it says that the sagebrush trees are only useful for HO and O scale, but I'm pretty sure I can do some very nice uh, N scale ones as well. So I'm going to do that on a further um, episode. But anyways, buy the sagebrush value kit because you get all of that and you get all of this. It's a ton of material to make sagebrush trees and super trees. So it's kind of a little secret. It's about $29 US. To me, it's a huge value. Now, let me let you in on another little secret. This box, I bought this over 10 years ago for my old layout, uh, the Willow Falls sub. Um, and that just goes to show you how long it lasts when you use natural materials and this. So, but for this video, I'm only gonna show you the super trees. Now, I know what you're thinking. There's a ton of videos and a ton of information out there on super trees. It's been done over and over and over again. But I've got my own system that I want to share with you. Uh, the main thing is what I'm seeing on Facebook and forums is people doing super trees. They're not able to straighten the trunk out. There's different methods to do this. There is a, you could use a soldering iron, you can use steam. But the one I like to use is when you do a dip in matte medium or what I use white glue and you hang them. What this does, it straightens out the branch and it also preserves it. So it's two things in one. I really recommend doing this method because after a while, as you can see, these are very old, they get brittle. When you do this method, they will last you a long, long time. So um, the only other thing I'm going to say is use, on this I'm going to use the Scenic Express Super Leafs, but also experiment. Use ground foam. Really fine ground foam looks really great and it gives you some variation. That's a secret that you're going to see with me that I use a lot in my scenery. It's a rule of odd numbers and three. So what I mean by that is I always try to do odd numbers and normally I use three. So three textures, three colors, uh, three different kinds of deciduous and coniferous trees. Mix it up. What it does is it fools the eye. You're not making a specific species, but when you have all these different textures and different colors and different kinds of trees, it fools the eye into thinking there's a lot more detail than there really is. It's a really cool trick. So anyways, without any more further ado, let's get at it and let's get this build on the way. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make a really watery glue mix. So we're just using standard white glue. I fill a bucket with water. Now, I don't like to use recipes, okay? It's, it takes the fun out of it. All we're doing here is making a really watery glue mix. But if you must know, I believe it's about a liter or 32 ounces of water and then a few glugs of glue. Glug, glug, just like that. Glug, glug, glug. In it goes. Put on the cap. 
and then you're just gonna mix it up. Stir it up really well. You want it to be nice and consistent, but like I said, pretty easy. Just a really watery glue mix. So you see here, super watery. This is so it will soak into the tree. Now, this is kind of a messy process, so all you're gonna do is put newspaper on the floor wherever you're doing this, and I tie up a string line. You can see the string right there. We're gonna use some cheap clothes pins, very cheap. Now, take the armature, put it into the glue mix and just swish it around. You want to make sure it's fully covered. I don't use gloves because it's just white glue and water. It's not going to hurt anything. But I put it in there for a couple of minutes. Just make sure it's soaked on there pretty good. Use the clothespin and clip it on there and let it hang. Now the next step, you're going to take another clothespin and clip it to the bottom. What this does is give it, it will give it weight and it will stretch it out. So that's the point of the newspaper because it just sits there and it drips all over the floor so the newspaper just catches the drips. So here we go, just repeating the process. Now I'm making six of them for this diorama. Um, now here you can see the, those little white drops, don't worry about those. Let these sit overnight and those drops will literally just disappear. Now this one was not very straight, so what I did was I put, added some extra weight with some clamps just to give it some extra weight to straighten it out. But here you can see them all lined up. Ready to go, and they'll be ready for the next step. So like I said, you're going to leave them like this overnight. It'll straighten them out, and it will preserve them. Now something I didn't mention was um, the tops of the armatures, you can just pinch off a little piece because sometimes they have an unnatural curve to them so just take about a half inch off of it with your fingers and there's also some little um, leaves you want to pull out as well. So the next step, poke some holes in some styrofoam and that's what you're going to use to hold them temporarily. Now I'm just using flat black spray paint, very simple. Hold the can back, wear a glove and thoroughly coat this coat. This is the first coat we're going to do. I use black a lot for my base coats. Basically, it gives you a nice shadow effect. So just spray, spray all the way around. Make sure it's coated completely with the black. Then I just set it into styrofoam to dry. And here you can see that's how they look. Here's the last one that I did. Just set it in there. Next up, we're going to use gray. Now, for this coat, we're not going to completely cover the the black. The trick is to hold it back and just give it a mist of the gray. So you, basically you want it to be gray but have a bit of the black show through. It gives you a bit of a shadow effect. So I'll show you up close. You can still see a bit of that gray. So all you do you just hold it back far and give it a light mist. And this is something of how they should look. So you can see the little bit of black in there. It gives a nice shadow effect. Now this is optional. All I'm doing is just a couple little highlights with brown. This is just to add a little bit of dead and again it's that third color to give you that eye trick I was talking about earlier. So you can see there it's just a couple little shots here and there. You don't want to hide the other colors, it's just a little touch. Now I'm losing, using Gorilla Glue spray adhesive. This stuff is really powerful and really strong so make sure you do this over newspaper. You don't even want to do this on the garage floor because it sticks and makes a mess. Thoroughly coat it. Now we're going to take the Super Tree um, Super Leaf material and here's the trick that I use. I never use, apply this stuff out of the bottle I, or out of the shaker bottle. I always use my fingers and what we're doing here is applying it to the outside edges only of the branch. This is the trick to these trees. Um, make sure you only get it on the outside and leave some empty space on the inside. As you can see here, you can still see some of that branch structure. It's super realistic and super effective. Now, I always do this over a box um, and I just throw it back in there. As you can see, it saves a whole lot of material. We barely used any. So it goes to show it is quite a good value because it, this stuff goes a long, long way if you do it over a box like this and um, preserve it. So here I'm switching over to some green ones. I did three reds and three greens. So here we are once again, uh, just purposely and mindfully trying to sprinkle it on the outer edges of the branches. This way you have more control, give it a little shake, 
And there you have it. There is another one done. And once again, I just dump the box out into the container to save the uh, leftovers. So as you can see, barely any was used. So here's how they look. They're absolutely beautiful. You know, you see that branch structure showing through? That is the key. That's why I keep saying, just sprinkle it on, sprinkle it on from the outside. Now your last step is to poke a hole in the scenery. If you have foam scenery like I do, this is really simple. I just use a screwdriver, poke it in and twist, give it a little clean. I use Mod Podge Matte. Now Mod Podge Matte is great because it doesn't have any shine, so you don't have to worry about little blobs of glue at the base of the, the tree. They really, uh, dis it dissolves on itself. Now if you use white glue or anything else, it'll leave a sheen, so you'll probably want to use a little bit of your scenery uh, base coat to cover it up, but with a matte pat, with a Mod Podge matte, it is not necessary. So here we go, we're just completing the scene here, I'm poking holes, gluing it, putting them in, spread them out, shape them, and they'll stay. Now if they do fall over, you can use bamboo skewers or toothpicks to hold them in place, but um, these ones, they're light enough, they're staying in place on their own. So it's very simple. A little bit of Mod Podge mat, poke a hole, and in they go, and they're ready to go. So, this scene is complete. Here it is. Enjoy. Hope you like this, guys. Um, please like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.